Welcome back to the stage of history. Vernon recruiting Miss Brandy. Hey, Br you say Brittany or Brandy? Let's, let's try that again. Vernon recruiting us with Brandy. Okay, Brandy, can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I can hear you now. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. All right, so you say your name is Brandy? Yep. How you doing today, Miss Brandy? I am fine. How are you? I am fine, thank you. You know, I, I came across Bar None on the Facebook page, and I see that you guys have some very interesting information on there. Um, I decided to give you guys a call to see if I can do a Q&A with you about the company. Yeah, is this LaShawn? Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, we had actually spoke back in, um, it looks like July. All right, well, this, I'm, I'm just basically calling back just to get some, just to get information now. I'm just doing, okay. doing my research now, that's all. So that's, okay. that's why I'm calling back. Um, all right, cool. Uh, I got some questions for you. Hopefully you can answer them. Um, okay, what? All right, I'm about to go. All right. So, are are you guys a company sponsor CDL school? We do not. No. All right, cool. Then I can skip that whole session of questioning. What are your higher areas? Um well, we hire from the northeast, the southeast, and the midwest, pretty much east of the Mississippi. Okay. Where are your terminals located at? Uh we have our main terminal here in Granger, Iowa. Okay. Um, we have one in Manchester, PA. Okay. Charlotte, North Carolina, right. Columbus, Ohio, and Jacksonville, Florida. All right, so you do have one in Ohio. Cool. All right, is yep. there, is there a sign-on bonus, and if so, how much? Um, there is. It will definitely be different by the time that you are qualified. Um, but what it is is it is. Do you have hazmat? No. Okay. So then it's five hundred dollars in your first check, um, an additional five cents a mile per mile for your first ninety days, and then after ninety days it's nine hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, okay. How now now that's how it's paid out, right? The first check Yep, that is how it's paid out. So the first check in ninety days after that. Yep. All right. Do you guys require a hair follicle test for pre employment drug screening? No, we do not. All right. Is there an agility test requirement? Yep, it is an HPE test. It's like a, it's an agility test, just like a push, push pull test. Okay, okay. What are, what are your policies on felons? On what? Felon, like felons. If somebody's, if somebody had a. Uh, over the road. A felon. Okay, I thought you said on a salad. I was like, what? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, everything is reviewable. We don't look at just your background check. Um, we take your whole application into account. Okay, okay. Where, all right, where's the orientation held? Um, for you, orientation would be in Columbus, Ohio. Do, do I get paid for orientation and how long is it? Um, it's a two-day orientation. Um, it is not paid. That is what the transition pay is for, to help you transition into the new position. Now, I've read that. I've read that. So can you elaborate a little bit more on the uh, transition? Yep. The, uh, so we already went over the transition pay. Um, and then in addition to the first check and then the 90-day check, it's the extra five cents a mile per mile for 90 days. Okay. Okay. All right. So I, let's say I'm coming out of, I'm, I'm coming straight out of um, uh, school, right? Do you guys hire uh, uh, students that recently graduated? No, we do not. You do have to have one full year of over-the-road experience. What's the CPM? Cent per mile. What's the what? Cent per mile. Um, so then with the over-the-road, it would start you off at 47 cents a mile, empty and loaded. Okay. Is that starting pay? Yep. All right. Is the, is the yep, pay? Yep, and then you. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I cut you off. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, and you would also earn an, um, a half a cent raise for every 40,000 safe miles that you drive. Okay. Is the pay based on straight miles, or is there a sliding scale? No, it's not a sliding scale. Okay. Triple miles, we do, however, have the short haul pay. Um, you'll never fall below your 47 cents, but you can always make more than that. Um, with our short haul, short haul pay, 
you could earn an additional two cents up to ten cents extra depending on the length of the load. Do you guys offer pay advances? Yes, we do. It is fifty dollars a week. All right, you already mentioned uh, how often do the pay increase? Um, every forty thousand miles. All right, per diem. And then we're always giving out. Right. What we do not do per diem. Okay. Okay. Do you offer vacation and holiday pay? Um, no holiday pay. The vacation pay uh, or the vacation days you earn three days for every 60,000 miles that you drive. Okay. Do you guys offer breakdown pay and detention pay? Yes, um, we sure do. Um, we pay all the accessorials. Um, detention is $10 an hour after the first 60 minutes. How often do layovers happen and what's the pay? Um, I would have to ask how... Uh, I would have to ask operations how often it happens, um, but the layover is fifty dollars after the first thirty-four hours. Are there multiple stop pay? Yes, there is. Um, your your pickup and your delivery are not included. Um, if you have any in between there, it's twenty dollars for the first and thirty dollars after that. You already asked me that I have my hazmat. Are hazmat mm -hmm. required? It is not required. We just pay extra if you have the endorsement. All right. How many miles? How many miles a week a driver can average? We do not track their mileage on a weekly basis. We actually look at their paycheck. Um, so with this one here, these drivers, the top 25% over the last 13 weeks, they were grossing on average about 1608. What lanes are available? Um, in our running area, we run the northeast, the southeast, and the midwest. We don't go any further west than Omaha, Nebraska, no Canada, no New York City. Are all miles paid for and how is it calculated? Yes. So you would earn the 47 cents on all your miles, MPM loaded miles, and they're paid by practical miles. Okay. Do you guys have an idle policy? Um, we do. We do. Um, you would be able to idle when it's below 38 degrees out and then when it's above 68 degrees. Okay. Do you guys reimburse for scales and tolls? Um, we pay those. Y'all pay? Okay. What's the percentage of dropping hooks? About 84% dropping hooks. Awesome. What's the uh, home time policy there? Um, this one you would be home every other weekend for three days. All right. What's the maximum days I can take off? Well, there really wouldn't be a maximum. If you have them banked up, then you can take them. Is there slip seating in the company? Nope, no slip seating. All right. What is the driver to fleet manager per uh, percentage? Um, each one has about 30 drivers. Okay. What's the driver turnover there? Um, it is, I just asked this morning, and I do believe it was about 80%. 80%, okay. What's the pet and rider policy? Uh, we do not allow pets in the trucks. Riders you can have from day one. They just have to be 10 years of age or older, and it's $19 a month for the insurance. Is there Now, you already mentioned New York City that you guys don't go there, but is there force dispatch to California? No, because we don't go any further west than Omaha, Nebraska. Okay. All right, so... I'm working for you guys. If I decide to quit, what is the policy for turning in the truck? Um, well, you would turn your um, two-week notice into your dispatcher, and they would handle it from there. Okay. They would get you routed someplace to get it turned in. Awesome. What equipment do you offer? Are there autos or 10 speeds? Um, we have both. Um, I don't have any automatics available. Those are yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, you got cut. You you got cut off there for a second. You said you don't have no oh. autos available. Nope, I don't have any available right now. We do have them in the fleet. I just don't have very many of them. Uh, and then it would be 10 speeds is what I would have available. All right. What what equipment do you guys offer? What's what's the equipment there? Uh, 2015 to 2017 International Pro Stars and Freightliner Cascadias. Oh, okay. The newer 2018s are coming in. Okay. So let me ask you this. Now, since you said that you guys don't have none available now, but if I request to have an automatic, would that be a problem for me to get one? We could certainly, we could put in a request for one. There's no guarantees. Like I said, they are hard to come by. Okay. Okay. What if, what, what if any divisions do you guys offer? I'm um, in your area. I have the over the road or a regional. Okay. Um, Drive-in, uh, reefer. Yep, we're just strictly driving. Oh, drive-in. Okay, okay. All right. So for driver comfort and empl and company focus on its employees, what amenities do you guys offer in the truck? Um, some of them do have the refrigerators. Um, some of them have the inverters. The new ones coming in do have the inverters. Um, 
but there is no like TV, no satellite, nothing like that. You would have to put that in yourself. Does the truck come with a drive cam? No, it does not. Um, they some of them right now do have the forward facing event. Okay. okay. Three quarters. What are the trucks governing that? Sixty four. All right. Awesome. All right, this is my last few questions. Do you have an open door policy? What do you mean by that? All right, so let's say I have an issue with uh, the fleet manager per se. Is there anybody else I can talk to without a problem? Yep. Oh, okay. okay. Yep. Now, what is your policies on cell phones? Uh, only if you have a Bluetooth. Do you guys offer a refresher course for drivers that haven't driven in a while? No, we do not. All right. What is the number one reason to drive for Bar None? Because we're a great company. <laughs> all right. I feel like I'm being interviewed. I really do. <laughs> all right. Is there all right? Um, is there any? Is there anything you can add that I haven't touched on? Um, the 401k starts day one. Okay. Um, with that, we do match 100 percent of what you contribute up to two thousand dollars a year. Okay. Um, and then, of course, the health and dental. Um, CSA safety bonuses are every 90 days. Um, with that, you would earn $425 and eight hours of paid time off. All right. What, now, what you say your name was again? Brittany? My name is Brandy. 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 I am so sorry for butchering your name. <laughs> oh, you're fine. You're fine. Well, Brandy, thank you very much for taking the time out to uh, give me a little bit more information on Bar None. As already, I think I do have the information via email. I think I already still got that saved. But if I want to get any more information about the company, what's the website do I need to go to? It's just barnonetruckingjobs.com. Awesome. Hey, how long have you been a recruiter for the company? Um, I, a year. A year? Maybe oh. not even that. I've been with the company for almost 10 years. Okay. So you you know your you know your stuff a little bit about uh about the uh, company. Thank you very much. I would also I like sure do, yeah. I would also like to let you know that I recorded this. Okay. All right, okay. ma'am. Well, thank you very much. I really do appreciate the time, and um, you have a blessed evening. You too. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Well, what you guys think of that one right there? bar none out in Iowa which I think they got a snowstorm going on right now I don't know maybe anyway so what you guys think of that call right there if you're interested in bar none and what Brandy had to say about the company give them a call look them up at barnone.com all right well thank you for hanging out with me on another episode of lockout man makes the call I am your host, Lockout Man. That's me. All right. If you guys have any questions for me to ask these recruiters, please leave it in the comments below. If you guys have any companies y'all like for me to call, leave that in the comments below. Also, leave what you think of the call in the comments below. All right. Well, thank you once again. This is uh I'm not sure what episode this is. I'll, I'll probably put the episode in the in the in the episode thing. But thank you for guy. I mean, thank you guys for joining me. Until next episode, I am your host, Lockout Man. Mace the call. I'll talk to you guys later, and I'll see you in another video. Peace. Welcome back to the stage of history.